Pencil skirts are a unique kind of skirts because whichever way you choose to wear your pencil skirt, you can't go wrong. You can wear a pencil skirt with casual tops, with any kind of top at all. Pencil skirts are so beautiful that any day, any time, you can wear a pencil skirt. You can wear it with a corporate top, okay, and you can wear it with... A native top you can wear it with a peplum you can wear a pencil skirt with just anything and you will look just beautiful pencil skirts are good to go any day anytime so now if you want to know how to make a pencil skirt let's get started hello all yeah welcome to my youtube channel I am Vivian so today I'll be making a pencil skirt. So I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers. And if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell. So that each time I upload a new video, you will be notified. And don't forget to give this video a like, okay? Thank you so much for all your support. So now let's get to work. To make a pencil skirt, you need to place your fabric on fold. So I have placed my fabric on fold using my hip measurement, which is the biggest measurement. So the biggest measurement divided by 4, then I added 2 inches allowance. So that is how I folded my fabric. And I'm cutting the back and the front together. So I have placed it like so. And I took my 1 inch zipper allowance at the back panel. And this is the front panel so I have placed it like this so now I'll take my length my full length the full length for the skirt is 27 inches so because I'll be adding a band at the top I would minus the length of the band so the length of the band will be two inches okay so to place my full length measurement I would minus that two inches so what I'll do just place my tape from that two inches okay at the top like this then I'll mark my full length of the skirt so the full length is 27 inches plus one inch sewing allowance that is hemming allowance that is 28 so I already have it there okay so this is how to place your tape and you mark your length so this is it okay so now I'll take the waist measurement the waist measurement is 35 inches. So 35 inches divided by 4, that is 8.75. So 8.75 is here. So that's what I'll mark at the waist. So the I will also add 2 inches sewing allowance. So in this 2 inches sewing allowance, my dart allowance is also included. Okay, so 8.75 plus 2 inches, that is 10.75, okay? So I have it here. So this is it. Now, my hip measurement. So before taking my hip measurement, I have to mark my hip point from the waist. So my hip point from the waist is 8 inches. So you can measure yours from your waist to your hip. You measure how many inches you have there. So for me, it is 8 inches. And I will draw a line at that 8 inches. Let me also mark it here. So this is it. So I'll just draw a line to connect this one. Eight inches. So this is it. Eight inches. So I'll connect it. So this is my hip point. Okay. So at this hip point, I also place my hip measurement. The hip measurement is forty inches. Forty inches divided by four. That is ten inches plus two inches sewing allowance. That is twelve inches. So I have my 12 inches here. Okay. 
So now I would connect these points from the waist to the hip. You can use a hip cuff to do this, or you can just connect with your hand. So I'll just connect like so. So this is my hip. So now, at this damp part, we would minus some inches from the hip measurement. You know, it is pencil skirt. So depending on how pencil you want it to be, you can take away 2 inches or 1.5 inches from your hip measurement. So for me, I don't want it to be too tight at that part. So I'm taking 1.5 inches away. So, okay, my hip measurement plus the allowance that is 12 inches so i would measure my 12 inches here okay so i'll mark my 12 inches then i would take away 1.5 inches so now i will just connect from this point to this point So this is it okay so now i'll just cut it out so this is it okay so this is my pencil skirt now i'll add my that okay so the, the, the that is not compulsory but just to give it a little fitting i'll add my that so for to add your that you need your bust span that is nipple to nipple so here the nipple to nipple is eight inches divide by two that is four inches then i'll add half inch okay so what i'll take here is 4.5 inches i'll mark it so this is it then at this hip point i'll come up by one inch so let me just see where i have my 4.5 then come up by i'll come up by two inches okay so the that should not get to the hip so come up by two inches and mark it now i'll connect to this point So now, at this point, I'll take half inch on this side and half inch on the other side. So just take half inch on both sides. So it's half inch here and half inch here. Okay. Then I'll just connect it to this point. So this is my dart, okay? So this is the dart. Now I will do the same thing on this other side and on the back also, okay? So now I will separate my front from the back. I'll just remove the front. Okay, so I'll just open it up and also repeat the same thing on this side. So I'll just take my dart. That is 4.5. Then at my hip. So let me just measure it. This is 6 inches. So 6 inches. Then connect. Take half inch on both sides. So 
so I have my that for the front. So I'll do the same to the back, okay? I'll do the same to the back. So for this front, for this front panel, for this front panel, at this point, okay, I would come down by one inch. This side, I'll just mark one inch. Okay, so I'll mark one inch, then I'll connect it to this point, to this upside. Just connect it. then I'll cut it out. So the reason for doing this is so that when you sew, the skirt will have a balance at this lower abdomen area, okay? So I'll just cut it out. This is only for the front. Don't do this for the back, okay? So this is it. So by the time we open it up, this is what we have. Okay, so this is just to give it fitting balance at that lower abdomen area. So this is it for our front. Then I'll put place my back that that is the for the back panel. I'll place my that. Remember, we have one inch zipper allowance. So I would I'll take my bust bar measurement after the one inch zipper allowance okay so that's where i'll place my dart so i'll place my dart then i'll open it up okay so i have placed my back dart and i have also opened it up okay so now i'll go to my sewing machine and i'll join okay so this is my front panel and this is my back panel so first of all, I would I would um, add my zip, okay? So I'll add my zip, and I would also sew my vent. So this is the back. So for my vent, I will take six inches, okay? So I'll just mark six inches. So you can take whatever length you like for your vent. You can take about seven or six inches, depending on what you want. So, okay, I'll take seven inches, because by the time I fold it, I'll have my six inches. So I'll mark seven inches for my vent, okay? So now I will sew from here up to where I'll have my zip. So that is what I'll do. So from these seven inches, leaving my opening for my vent, and I'll sew up to where I would add my zip. So let me do just that. Then I would place it like this and sew the both sides. Okay, so let me do just that. So I have sewn my skirt. I'm also sewn the that and added my zip. Then for my vent, this is how I did it. So I just took my seven inches, then sew it to where I would add my zip and this is it. Then I just folded it in and so and also held my skirt. So this is it, okay? So now to the band, okay? I want two inches um length for my band so what i did is i took five inches okay because by the time i fold it by the time i fold it and sew in by half inch i'll have my two inches band so for the length of my band i took my waist measurement and plus two okay i added two to my waist measurement the waist measurement is 35 inches so what i cut out here is 37 inches and the reason is this by the time i sew in the band all around i'll have to fold in half inch on this side and half inch on the other side 
then the remaining that will be one inch taking off then the remaining one inch would lap on the other side so let me sew it and you see what i'll do so now to sew in your band what you do is this from the back side you take the right side of the fabric this is the right side okay now you fold in by half inch like so then you put it inside okay you have to open your zip you place it inside after folding the half inch you can hold it down with pin then you place it inside okay the right side facing the wrong side like this so you can just hold it down with a pin then you sew you sew round so the reason for this by the time you finish sewing we'll turn it okay so that is why i took five inches because i want two inches band so by the time i fold it i'll get my two inches so by the time we finish sewing we'll fold it back to the front like this okay we have our band so let me do just that and you would understand it okay uh, so i so i decided to start from this side of my zip so that i'll end at this side that i have the overlapping okay so now what i'll do is this i'll just fold it here then fold it i want to it to rhyme with this one so so you can see what i'm doing just fold it then i'll fold it over again so that it can align with this zipper overlapping okay so i have it like this so you can actually hold this down with your pin just to hold it then at this point this top i will also fold half inch so i'll take half inch in okay all the way to the end then i also fold it at the center so when i'm sewing this i'll just arrange it well so i'm just showing you okay so just fold at the center and bring it to this point so you see what we have here so this is my two inches band so let me just fold it down here with pin okay so i have it here so by the time i sew i will also sew here so that's it to just um, rhyme with this zip and um, overlapping so now i would just fold it by half inch and make it to cover this seam and seam so i'll just do like i'll just fold it like this and while i fold i'll just use my pin to hold it okay so you can actually fold it and iron it you can actually fold it iron it so i'm just showing you what it would or what it should look like okay so just get the midpoint you fold your half inch and you place it like so okay and you sew it all the way down so i would iron it and sew it then you see what it will look like okay so you see the final outcome let me do just that so i've sewn my band okay so this is it and the back so i added hook okay to just hold it down here and our pencil skirt is ready 
oh yeah this is our pencil skirt you can see how beautiful it is so you can do yours okay so just give it a try and you will love it please if you haven't hit that subscribe button do so now just hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell beside it so that you can get notified each time I upload a new video don't forget to share this video with your friends and also give it a thumbs up just give it a like thank you so much for your support and I would like to hear from you just drop your comments in the comment section thank you and bye